Aloha. This is Emily Thoreau Threat, host of the Grief and Happiness Podcast. Every Friday, I share with you my love notes, giving you a little something to think about as you navigate through your grief journey, finding happiness expanding along your way. And every Tuesday, I post my regular podcast sharing wonderful conversations with people you can relate to and who offer you encouraging ideas and helpful inspiration. I'm so grateful you're joining me and look forward to hearing from you your thoughts. Aloha. Our short podcast for today is called Coincidence. Do you sometimes have an intense yearning to be with your loved one? I know I do. I've been wanting to be able to talk to him about all the results of the pandemic, just to hear his voice and his wisdom. Before I go to sleep at night, I think about him and he'll be in my dreams, but that's only happened a couple of times. Last week, my mind kept drifting back to him. Then as I was watching television, our song came on as part of the show. I remember the night when we discovered our song. We'd been talking in bed about going to sleep, and then he suddenly remembered that he had something he wanted me to listen to. He retrieved his tape recorder, that's how long ago it was, and played for me Stevie Wonder's song, As. Listening to the words together, we both knew it was our song, and I always smile and feel good when I hear it, and the words will run through my mind for days. The next night, a friend of ours, who's an intuitive, called me. I hadn't heard from her in a very long time. She said she had a message for me from Ron, that everything was all right. Interesting, because she couldn't have known that I'd been saying and writing all as well for days, and I thought nobody knew but me. The next night, I was watching a different show on television, and there it was again. They were playing as, as part of the show. Another friend of ours who was a psychic called. Uh, Now, I don't have many friends who identify themselves as being intuitive or psychic, and I hadn't talked to this friend in probably a year. She said that Ron is watching over me right now and knowing all is well. For all these things to have happened over four days, there's got to be something to this. Ron used to tell me that I'm a powerful manifester. I hadn't realized that until I started reflecting on my life. I discovered example after example of times that I could create things out of what seemed to be thin air. For my first book, a book representative from a publishing company came to my office at the university to sell me a book to use in my class, and I told him that the book I wanted to use hadn't been written yet. He asked me what it was, and I described it to him. He loved the idea, which led to a bidding war between two companies about my first book. Before he asked me, I hadn't even thought about writing a book. My first house, awards I've won, my life theater, i all these things had similar starts. I would think, wouldn't it be wonderful to have or to do something? And there it was, with little initial effort on my part. I see that my desire to be with Ron is manifesting itself in a way that it can in the way that it can under the circumstances. The manifestation comes as a feeling in my heart, a comfort in my being, and a joy in my soul. Those things that happened, the messages and the music, happened for a reason, not as a coincidence. I realize that when something is meant to be, I don't need to wish and hope for it. But I do know that it's already there or already done. All I have to do is open my eyes and heart and see it and feel it and have my soul to experience it. All is well. Do you want more comfort, support, and happiness? Join the Grief and Happiness Alliance. Visit my website at lovingandlivingyourwaythroughgrief.com and read my book, Loving and Living Your Way Through Grief. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast, rate it, review it, and binge on all our episodes on grief and happiness. I can't wait to welcome you back to another episode.